I cook just about everything. Good Lord. Mm -hmm. Hello, y'all. Hello. Thank you for coming back to Cooking with Sandra Fay. I know it's been a while. I know. Y'all, I've been lazy and I got a lot of things going on in my life. But I'm going to try to cook a little more. I'm just going to try because, you know, I love you guys and I know you like my recipes. Well, some of y'all do. Some of y'all complain down in the comment section, but that's okay. That's life, y'all. People are going to complain. So don't get upset. I don't get upset. If they say something too stupid, I just delete them. That's just what I do. All right. Today, as you can see, you can see some baby back real. Y'all, let me tell you what I'm making. I'm going to make an easy, slow cooker fall off the bone teriyaki ribs. Oh, yeah, it's going to be really good. It's going to be great, y'all. It's going to be good. So I'm going to get over here and wash my meat. I know a lot of y'all don't like to wash your meat. Shame on y'all, so don't be saying nothing down in the comment section just because y'all nasty and like slime and stuff on your meat. Don't be talking about me because you know what, though? <sighs> I don't care what you do, so don't come over here complaining, okay? I hate people that complain. I just hate them. All right. All right, you see this? See that membrane? You're going to pour all of that off right there. That right there. Y'all want to leave it on there, but I'm going to tell you, you leave that on there. You think about it, the flavor is not going all the way through. So you want to cut that off. I'm going to cut that off. Right now I'm going to wash, wash it, wash it like you wash your tail. Wash it, wash it good, y'all. I ain't talking about it. don't put no soap on that now. Don't put no soap. I do not put soap on my meat. I don't do it. I don't put no Clorox, no Lysol, no nothing. You know, you got some people that do that. You really do. You can clean it with vinegar. Some people do that. Okay? But nothing that's going to be harmful. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's it. This is called a membrane, y'all. Membrane. We got membranes, too, somewhere. I can't tell you where it's at, but you're supposed to pull this off. I'm going to attempt to pull this off on camera. There you go. You see that? Oh, yeah. It's acting right for me now. Thank goodness. Thank you. Thank you for being good. All right. Once you pull that off, just turn it over, you know. Start seasoning. Now, some people don't like fat. This is pretty meaty. You see how meaty this is? It's meaty. It has a lot of meat. And you got some fat right here. But it's up to you now if you want to eat the fat. I don't like the fat, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and leave it on there. I'm going to leave it on there. Because I'm lazy. That's why. All right. Let's get ready to season this bad boy. Now, all of this will not fit in my crock pot. But that's okay. That's all right. Because I'm going to cut it in half. Put it in there. Okay, you can do the same. Unless you got a gigantic crock pot. But I don't. All right. First, I'm going to show you the stuff. I'm going to put it here. I got some garlic. Minced garlic. Okay. Now, whatever I put in here, maybe you don't like it, okay? I put like two teaspoons in there, maybe. All right? Now, just spread it around. Spread. Ooh, that smells wonderful. Ooh. And remember, remember, did I say remember? Remember, you have to season both sides. Don't season just one side, okay? I should have really started on the other side first, but, you know. And just me. Here are the seasonings we're going to be putting on it. You kind of make yourself like a little dry rub, okay? I got a spoonful of this. I guess you can say that's about a teaspoon. It's according to how much you like, okay? You remember, you got to do both sides. So maybe I do a, a tablespoon. All right. And I still have some garlic powder. Garlic powder, y'all. 
And so I mean, I already got some on there, I know, so I just need a little bit. Like I said, you can leave whatever out. I'm sorry, this is body of complete seasoning. That's what I forgot to say. And I'm gonna use some cracked pepper. Yeah, I got this from Kroger or Publix. Let me tell you something, this stuff here, whew, it is wonderful. One, two, ooh, that smells great. With this and the body, you don't have to put any salt on it. I'm just saying, unless you love it salty. I'm not a salty person. Well, I do sometimes, certain foods, right? And now I have some smoked paprika. Smoked! Look at that, that's for wanting fit in there. So, mm. all right. You ain't gotta fit in there, okay? Maybe two teaspoons and a half of that. Mmm, oh, it smells good. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord. That's your little rub right there, okay? See, I put the minced garlic on there because it has the oil in it and it's gonna kind of stick to it. I mean, you ain't gotta put that in there, like I said, it's up to you. Everybody don't like the same thing. Whatever kind of rub you like, you know, there's a rub that's already made already made believe it or not this is a rub okay cracked pepper seasoning rub i was gonna add this but once i taste this sweet baby ray's sweet teriyaki sauce oh my god y'all it's wonderful it already has the soy sauce in it the teriyaki everything oh it's great sauce and marinade you want to find that in your grocery stores and you'll find you and you'll find it where you see the barbecue okay i don't know why i'm getting tongue tied Spread this all over here. Save a little bit for the other side. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Love it on that good job. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, some people put sugar. Now, my sugar, my brown sugar, just tow up from the flow up. Just tow up. I'm going to put a little bit on that. But it was hard when I tried to get it out the package. I was like, oh, Lord, Lord. Here it is right there. It's hard. I had to kind of wet it a little bit. Y'all can tell me down in the comment section how you keep your, your, your uh, brown sugar. That's what I'm trying to say. Brown sugar from getting hard. I don't have to do as much on this side as I did the other side. All right. Rub it in. Rub it in. Okay, I'm gonna tip the cut it in half. There we go. Cut it in half. All right, now I'm gonna put it in my crock pot, y'all. Now, if you want to, you don't have to <coughs> put it in the crock pot, <coughs> slow cooker, whatever. You can put it in a Dutch oven. You can put it in the oven and cook it. You know, whatever way you like to cook it, okay? This is just my seasoning. I'm still going to use this, okay? Who knows? I might. I might. I don't know. I might. But it's up to you, all right? I am going to spray with some olive oil non-stick cooking spray. And I'm doing this because, y'all, I don't want my ribs to be sticking to my crock pot. You know, I know it has a little oil on it from the garlic, but hey, I do the sides and the bottom. Sides and the bottom. Need to get a bigger crock of pot, crock pot, really and truly. That's what I really need, but okay. I'm gonna put this bigger piece at the bottom. Ooh, wee, good lord. Then I'm gonna take this one, and put it on top of that one. Whew. Then, just might spring. I just might. Well, I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna put it in the in the bottom, y'all. Okay. Put it in the bottom a little bit. I don't want it to put it in the put it on on it because it just might. Just might. I don't. Know. You know what? I did that wrong. Let me take this off. I forgot. I forgot about the other sauce. I'm losing my mind. Losing my mind. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. All right, pour that in. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, it smells good. Mm, mm, mm. Sweet baby rays, y'all, I'm telling you. They are on point. Their barbecue sauce and everything. They just some messed up craft. Mm. Messed it up. 
People love sweet baby rays. They got all kinds of stuff. Oh, this smells so good, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. mm. I could eat it right now, but I don't like raw meat. <laughs> some people eat raw meat. Tell you the truth, some people do. They eat it. I don't like raw meat. All right, now I'm gonna put it in here, <clears throat> the top on it. I'm put it on high. Now I let it cook for about four hours, according to how you like it, okay? I like it falling off the bone. Not where it melts in my mouth, but at least falling off the bone. That's what I'm trying to say. Now you can come in here to the sides and use a baster. You can put it more on top, you know, cause it's gonna cook down a little bit. I just keep basting, you know, like you would a turkey or something. Keep on basting it, you know, just put the top back on. That's all you gotta do. And later on, you know, I'm gonna swap the bottom with the top. The top with the bottom, you know what I'm trying to say. Amazing. All right, let me pull this out and plate it up and taste it. Look how good it turned out. Ooh, Lord. I may never put it in the oven again. I like it like this. Y'all can try it for yourself and tell me how you like it. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. You don't want to miss any, not even one of my recipes. And make sure you come back to Cooking with Sandra Faye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.